If only God would show me a miracle, then I would believe in him. How often do people say something along those lines? And yet, if there's anything that becomes crystal clear when reading through the Old Testament, it's that faith that's based solely upon miracles, even grand and glorious miracles, has a short shelf life. Just look at the history of Israel. They saw the ten plagues in Egypt. They saw the parting of the Red Sea. They saw the manna and the quail. They saw water from the rock. They saw all of these miracles. And yet, what did they do? They rebelled. They grumbled. They didn't believe. They didn't trust in God. Now, that is echoed in something that Jesus says in Luke chapter 16 when he tells the story of the rich man and Lazarus. At the very end of that, the rich man begs Abraham to send Lazarus to warn his brothers so they don't come to this terrible place. And Abraham says, they have Moses and the prophets. They have the scriptures. Let them listen to them. But he says, no, but if someone from the dead comes to them, then they will repent. And Abraham says again, if they don't hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced even if someone should rise from the dead. You see, our faith is based upon what God has promised. And certainly his word describes many miracles, but our faith is based upon what God has promised in his word what he speaks to us, what he promises to us, what he gives to us in his word about Jesus Christ. That is what our faith is based upon because it's through that word that the Spirit works faith in our hearts to trust in our good and gracious Heavenly Father.